the mirror command. Uh, the mirror command is a great command because it's going to save you a lot of time uh, drawing or rotating or copying um, because what it does is it will mirror entities and it can be a real time saver. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got a flange drawing and if you'll notice the left side view, um, we have a great opportunity here to use the mirror command, okay? So what I will, I'm going to want to do is mirror this top left uh, side view uh, down here to the bottom, okay? So before I do that, I'm actually going to freeze the dimension layer to kind of just keep the dimensions out of the way. So I'm going to come up to my layer pull down, and I'm going to find the dimension layer and pick freeze, okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is kind of get this top view uh, by itself. So I really want to trim these lines up to the center line there. So I'm going to go to trim. I'm going to pick the center line as my knife. I'm going to enter and there I'm going to pick these two lines to trim. Okay. All right, great. Now we're ready to start the mirror command. So I'm going to come up to mirror, which is on the modify panel and mirror asks me to select objects. So I'm going to make a crossing window around this top left view, okay? And when I'm done, I'm going to do a right click to enter. And now this part of the command asks me for the mirror line. Now it, uh, the view will mirror about an imaginary mirror line. So we have to pick two points that represent the mirror line. So right now I'm going to pick the bottom left corner, okay? And if I take my ortho off, you'll see uh, how this is trying to follow the line here. And I'm going to also pick the bottom right corner. So those two points represent the mirror line. Okay. The last part of the command asks me if I want to erase the source objects, and I do not. So I'm going to uh, do an enter to accept no on erasing source objects. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, there's a nice mirror image of the uh, left uh, top left view, and now we have a completed left side view of that flange. Okay, I'm going to come over to an architectural drawing to just show you a quick example on how you can use mirror um, with this table and chairs. Okay, so I'm going to come up to mirror because I want to mirror these top two chairs to the other side of the table. Okay, So I've selected the objects and now I'm going to do an enter. It's going to ask me for my mirror line and my mirror line I'm going to want in the center of this table. So I'm going to use my midpoint O snap and my other midpoint O snap and again uh, right click to say no to erasing source objects. Okay, let's do this one here. On the left hand side, I'm going to mirror and select objects. Here's my mirror line. Right click. Okay, so there we mirrored the top chairs with a horizontal line and I was able to mirror this with a vertical line. And you can see how it acts like a hinge. All right, so let's go back to the T-flange drawing. We're going to thaw our dimension layer. We'll come over and check that snowflake, turn it back into a sun. And there is a good representation of a couple of ways to use the mirror command. I hope you get a chance to give that a try. And until the next tutorial, keep working with AutoCAD. Have a great day.